Hi everybody, this is Milky. Today we're gonna have a tutorial video that shows beginner tips about how to have a good start in Taiwu. When I just started playing this game, it was quite confusing to me and I had to do a lot of research online to figure it out. So in this video, I will show you all the tips and information I found super useful online that I wish I had known before I played it. So you could have a better start in Taiwu. So let's start it. Let's uh, start a new journey. You can see all the other milkies I made here. So there's a lot of uh, elements that you have to choose before you even start the game. And a lot of them then can be really confusing, especially when you don't even know the game system. For example, all the trades without knowing the gaming system, it will be really hard to figure it out. So the first thing we have to decide is our name and then you have to decide your standpoint. So standpoint is an interesting thing. Basically, you're choosing your character. There's five standpoints. You can be just, kind, even, rebel, or egoist. Uh, for the beginner, I would recommend you to pick just, kind, or even. Um, because egoist and rebel, it definitely requires more experience or have a deeper understanding of the game to play. But of course, you could just pick it and have fun. So the standpoint is tied to your character choices. When you make life choices in game, you usually want to pick something that matches your standpoint. Otherwise, your character's uh, emotion will drop. And uh, when your character gets super depressed because you're not choosing um, choices that matches your standpoint, they might die or there's a lot of debuff happening. And your standpoint is closely mapped to where you want to go. So, for example, if your birth area is in Fujian and the, you, the first sec you want to go is Sword Manor, you probably want to choose an even standpoint because most of the characters in Sword Manor are their standpoint is even. So, if you, when you go to that sec, they are more likely to support you and like you better. And uh, on the other hand, say if you want to join, let's say, Shaolin. Then Shaolin people mostly like kind people, so you probably want to choose your standpoint as kind. Or if you want to join some you know, bad sack where they kill people, then they mostly like rebel and the egoist. So when you pick a standpoint, keep in mind and uh, pick what, which sack you want to join too. And while we are at the sack page, we can talk about it. So each birth area have a sack that's close to it and uh, it's probably the sec that you will first go to. While you were born in Fujian, you can also go to other sec later in the game. So each sec have their own unique Kung Fu. They have uh, inner art, footwork, stunt, sword, blade, polearm, and ranged. So you can see there's a lot of different Kung Fu you can learn by based on the sack you choose. And uh, it's a very complicated system of its own. But if you just started the game and you don't know which sack to choose, I would recommend Sword Manor. And that's the sack that I picked and uh, they say it's a generally pretty strong sack and they mostly use sword based Kung Fu. And um, so I also chose it during my playthrough. Maybe we could uh, do it together and in my playthrough, I can show you more about which Kung Fu to learn if you joined this sack. Um, and then maybe later in game, I will try other sec and able to provide more information about them. Also, you can choose your birthplace, birthplace types. So the birthplace types depend, decides the resource you have in your village. Usually, if you choose playing, then all of the resources are pretty even. So if you don't know where to start, I would recommend playing. Okay, we talked about the standpoint, then we also have to pick a look. Actually, the looks matters, interestingly. So the looks, based on your look, it changes your fascination in game, which decides how close people are, so their first impression to you. Um, and uh, there's actually tricks to how to pick it. For example, for nose, if you pick from 31 to 45, it's usually you get a higher rank score. And eyes too, if you pick between 31 to 45, it will give a, you a higher score. And then if you pick all of those that considered high score, 
and then with a random factor, you you will be much more likely to get higher fascination. So the characters in game will much more likely to feel close to you because you know you're good looking. And、uh, there's another interesting choice. So even though I pick myself as female, I can I can select male look. So what will happen is even though I'm a female, I have the male look, and I can join sect that、uh, only. Traditionally, only male can join. On、um, same goes if you are a male and you choose to have a female look, then you can join sex that only female is allowed to join. So it's pretty interesting. Also, you can choose age. For beginners, I would recommend twenty because then you have a pretty long time to live and、uh, kind of experience your first life. Also, the season you are born in. So the season you are born in controls the characteristic that you will have. Um, it's a very complicated system, but I usually just pick beginnings, begins of spring. Then here's the most complicated part that I find the most confusing, which are traits. So you have a total ten trait points, and there's a tons of different style you can select it. For example, if you want to be a kung fu master, you can focus on. Kung Fu related traits, and or if you want to be rich, then you definitely want to focus on the Middle Island, where it focus. You have traits that helps you with village building and making money. Um. So as a recommendation, if you just join the game and、uh, you don't know what to select, I actually have a recommendation that I picked. So I picked tempered sharpness, pure and nature. So. If we go into detail about what does each of the traits do, we probably could make a long, long video about it. And、uh, so, in this episode, I will just give you a general recommendation, and maybe we can have a separate video or discussion about what does each of the traits means. But the most important ones for me is the secret friend. So the secret friend, you have an inseparable childhood friend. So it adds a starting party member of the opposite gender when when you are born, and it's interesting because、um, they usually have a pretty good relationship with you, and the, their traits are pretty good, so they can help you fight at the start. Also, they basically you're born with a husband or wife, isn't that nice? And you can send them to the sack and let them learn some you know awesome kung fu, and then teaches you. So it's pretty awesome. You were born with some. Pretty good stuff,、um, and then the rest of the I chose potential radiance and convergence of sharp blades. So the most important thing for me is、uh, creativity. So because I'm going to join Sword Manor, so I want to make sure my carpentry skill is good, so I can craft good sword for myself. So this is tailor made for the build that I'm going to. That I'm going, so you can use it as a recommendation. Then we already talked about the base area and then the work work details. So the last thing I would recommend to do normal or even long, because you want to have a full experience of your first life. Then the difficulty I would definitely recommend common, enemy less, invasion stop, word heaven. And I would highly recommend you turn on random air because sometimes, say you accidentally died, you do want the game to pass your duty onto a random person. Otherwise, it just ends the game. So that's it.、Uh, let me actually change myself to a female look. And、uh, let's take a look the characters that we that we were able to create in this video and、uh, see her traits. It could be quite. Quite interesting. So now we can take a look、uh, at our characters, Mystical. So Mystical is pretty good. It's better than Outstanding and Jade like. We're Mystical, and that's pretty good fascination. My my real save save file didn't even get this. And then you can see we have some pretty good、um, features too. And this is our inseparable friend. You can see they don't have the red deep debuff because usually your inseparable friend have some great features. So that's it 
for our tips about how to have a good start in Tai Wu. I'm also thinking about making a video for tips and tricks for how to start in the starting village. Um, I would find it super useful because I made a lot of mistakes during the starting village. So let me, let me know if you want to see tutorials for the starting village or any other game component. I'll be happy to make videos about it. I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys next time.